Okay, so worksheet 4.1 number 1D. Find the absolute extrema of e to the minus x sine x on the interval 0 to pi. Okay, so let's talk about this problem. So how would you go about solving this problem? All right, by taking the derivative and finding the critical numbers. Okay, so let's find the critical numbers. Remember, there are two types. Where does f prime not exist? That gives us nothing, right? Each of these functions is differentiable. And now let's set the derivative equal to 0. OK, so first derivative second plus second derivative first. And we get a factor of negative 1 here from chain rule. I can factor out the e to the negative x. I get that my derivative is e to the negative x cosine x minus sine x. Okay, so how do I solve this equation? I set it equal to zero. What would be my next few steps here? All right, what do we do when I have when I have an expression that's already factored and that equals zero? How do we solve such equations? Set each term equal to zero, right? If a product equals zero, that means at least one of the factors has to be zero. Okay, so let's go one by one. So let's look at the first equation: e to the minus x equals zero. Can you tell me how to solve that equation? No solution. Good. All right. E to the minus e to anything is always positive, right? E is a positive number. So if I raise it to any power, it never equals zero. All right. So there's no solution there. And how do I solve the second equation? Cosine x minus sine x equals zero. Plug in zero. Why would I plug in zero for both? I mean, zero doesn't. Why would x equals zero solve this equation? In fact, I get one minus zero equals zero. X equals zero is not a solution to this equation. Does anyone have another idea of how to solve this equation? It's going to be equals tan x. So I can rearrange this to get tangent of x equals 0 or equals 0. Is that it? What exactly do I get here? There's something with tangent to x. How can I rearrange this equation to get this in terms of tangent? Right, tangent to sine over cosine. So how can I use uh, tangent of x equals sine x over cosine x to rearrange this equation? Well, 
Oh, sure. I can rearrange it to sine x equals cosine x. Sure. I mean, how does this help me solve the equation? X equals sine x over cosine? No, that's not, that's not correct. Sine x over cosine x does not equal x. Sure, sine x over cosine x equals 1, so I can get that the tangent of x equals 1. Okay, does that help you solve the equation? Can you give me the solutions to tangent of x equals 1? Do we know our basic trigonometry? Do we know, do we know angles whose tangent is 1? I over four. Are there any other solutions to this? Is that the only angle that gives a tangent of one? Keep in mind that our interval, I want to solve, I want to get all the critical numbers on the interval zero to pi. Are there any other angles? Five pi over four. Are there any other angles? Three pi over four? Not quite. Three pi over four is an angle in the second quadrant. And so the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive. So that means the tangent is actually negative. The tangent of three pi over four is negative one, right? In fact, these are the only two angles. So we now we have two critical numbers. So we have pi over four and five pi over four. Okay, so now what do we do? I found my critical numbers. Where do I go from here? First derivative test? No, I'm not going to use the first derivative test for this problem. Plug the endpoints and the critical numbers into the original to find the y values and the maximum. That's correct. Right? If I want to find the absolute extrema of a continuous function on a closed and bounded interval, right? I I know that, that those absolute extrema can only occur at either the endpoints or the critical numbers. That's all I have to check now, the endpoints and the two critical numbers. Okay, so let's make a table of values. So my two endpoints are zero and two pi, and my two critical numbers are pi over four and five pi over four. Okay, so what values do I get in my chart? What do I get for a zero, then two pi, then pi over four, five pi over four? Can someone give me these values? Can we at least get x equals zero? So zero, right? So x equals zero gives y equals zero, right? Sine of zero is zero. What about x equals two pi? That's also zero, right? Sine of two pi is zero. Okay, next, pi over four. Right, I get e to the negative pi over four times something. And here I get e to the negative five pi over four times something. Can you fill in the rest of the problem? So 
what pi over four, the sine of pi over four is one over root two. And what about five pi over four? It's not the same. The sine of five pi over four is not one over root two. All right, unit circle, five pi over four is this angle here. The x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is also negative, right? So both the sine and the cosine are negative for five pi over four. So in fact, we don't get one over root two, we get negative one over root two. Okay, so now what can I conclude? Can I conclude which is the biggest and which is the smallest? The min is this negative number and the max is this positive number, right? So the minimum is negative e to the negative 5 pi over 4 over root 2. And the max is e to the negative pi over 4 over root 2. And there we go. That's the answer.